Amazing Departures, episode number three. So the Toled, the Totem of Life and Death, is um, a hollow hiking staff uh, which serves as a mobile urn. So that means uh, with each step, you can press the Toled on, uh, on the ground and it will release a small amount of ashes. Hello listeners and thank you for joining me on Amazing Departures on Always Memorial Radio. I just want to start out by thanking you for joining us today and taking the time out of your day to listen to our show. We work really hard to inform and educate on end of life rituals and Today I have a very special guest. His name is Wout Brink. Welcome to the show, Wout. Thank you. Thank you for having me, uh, Tyler. And Wout, you've uh, been working on a product that you showed me at the Nashville ICCFA convention. And that's right, listeners. There are There is actually a death care convention where we all get together and discuss our products so that we can better serve the families that need us. And Wout, you actually came all the way out from Europe, is that right? Yeah, yeah, I came all the way out from uh, from Holland, actually, it's where we're uh, based. And uh, yeah, I flew to Nashville to, well, to see the American part of the, the funeral world, right? So, yeah, it was very interesting and a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, met, met a, lot of, a lot of great people. So, And the reason why you went to that show and what I'd like to talk to you about today is the Tolad. Um, so the Tolad, the Totem of Life and Death, is um, a hollow hiking staff uh, which serves as a mobile urn. So that means uh, with each step, you can press the toilet on, uh, on the ground and it will release a small amount of ashes from an opening in the bottom of the staff. Um, and this mechanic, this, uh, this allows the bereaved to create a remembrance trail of up to one mile in length. So yeah, so the toilet is basically a walking uh, staff which allows you to scatter ashes over a longer distance. And I know that you uh, spent a lot of time in engineering this product, you and your two partners, right? And the design is just gorgeous. I, I love the look of it. Um, and the action, uh, for lack of a better word, of the bottom that actually opens to release the remains has a nice feel to it. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that was kind of the intention that it was light but sturdy at the same time. So it, w- it needs to be easy to press it, but uh, it also needs to have like the good quality so you don't have to worry about walking in mud or rain or different conditions. So it was a challenge and uh, it took a lot of time for us to uh, develop the, the, the mechanic which we use to scatter the ashes. And um, it's because it was really hard to uh, to test it properly because you need the real uh, cremated remains. So it took a lot of time and a lot of testing, and uh, it was really tricky. But in the end, it worked out. Uh, it actually worked out great, and we're really happy with the result. And more importantly, the people that used it so far are really happy with the result. So, wow! In addition to the physical staff which is used to scatter the remains over a walk you have a app is that right yes so um well usually when you scatter someone's remains um sometimes people they told me they forget where they actually scattered the remains and but well, that's kind of 
I don't know, it, it can be kind of tragic, I guess. And uh, what we wanted was people to have the option to track the route uh, and store it, uh, so the route you walk with the toilet, and store it online so you can share it with anyone and it will be stored for, well, forever. So um, it gives people the opportunity to never forget where the ashes are scattered. And that's something that we thought was really important uh, to come with, with our product. So people will never forget to walk. Can you tell the listeners a little bit about your team and the process of creating this product? Uh, yeah. So um, we started, so the idea started uh, with Eric, which is our uh, designer. And he came up with the idea. Um, he saw a picture of an ash scattering gone wrong. So the wind came up and well, the ashes were everywhere. And it made him think about the current options for ash scattering. And he did some research and he saw, well, there wasn't anything to his liking at the moment, at that time. And he just started brainstorming and thinking. And well, he involved a few people in that process, uh, including me and uh, Bart, our, uh, our other partner. And um, we came to the conclusion that we wanted to make uh, a safe and a subtle way of scattering possible. So that means it's not possible anymore to get ashes on your clothing or on your shoes, or you don't have to worry about the wind. And it actually started with that. And then we were thinking about um, making like a memorial walk because walking is such a nice way to well to talk to each other and to express feelings and to and it's, uh, it's I don't know it, re it really helps with the uh, with the morning process as well so we wanted to combine that all together in one product and we did a lot of testing we did we tested for a year or a year and a half and we came up with all sorts of ideas and in the end it, yeah it just felt natural to come with a like a hiking stuff and it had to be a pretty tall stuff, so people listening right now maybe think it's a rather short stuff, but it's 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 a pretty tall tall stuff. It's about five foot five inches, I guess. And um, yeah, it's because we have to store, we have to have like the, the cubic um, the cubic inches, like the volume. It has to be a pretty big stuff. So, well, we did a lot of testing. It was a few years we were just working on uh, behind the scenes before we finally released something to the to the public and we did that in January this year we actually uh, we started is when we uh, released our first uh, version of the toilet so again and so now that you've got the the prototype and you've um, shown it to quite a few funeral directors and families have used it what's the reception like yeah, so the reception is um, it's pretty uh, cool for me to see the uh, reactions of people to the product. So I went, of course, to uh, Nashville and I went to uh, Spain and uh, the UK and here in Holland, of course. And the reactions are always, uh, people are always kind of amazed. Uh, they ask me, how do you come up with this? And uh, people really like it. So... Um, but it takes a lot of time for them to figure out an opinion on it because it's so new and uh, people are sometimes a bit shocked, I guess, uh, in a positive sense. And, uh, yeah, so they're like, yeah, they, usually the, the, the reception is really good. So um, people really like it. So that's, that's good. So that's good. But it, it, it takes some time for, for people to, to think about it. Well, Wout, I have to say I absolutely love the product, and I think it's a terrific idea. Um, and it's it's really uh, an example of pushing memorialization forward and better serving the families that we work with and giving them more options. And also using technology because the app is really um, an a nice addition to the physical staff. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so our idea with the app, by the way, is that um, you don't need to buy 
uh, one of our products to use the app. The app is just free to use and to download for everyone. It's in the App Store and in the uh, Google Play Store. And um, well, it's only in Dutch right now, so we're going to translate it for. We're going to make an English version when we go uh, when we're going international. But it will be uh, everybody can use it, even if you're scattering with just an urn or or anything. We think people deserve to be able to scatter uh, ashes and be able to remember where it was and to share it. So, so yeah, it's going to be available for everyone. So that's just what I wanted to add for the for the app. When do you expect the English version to be available? Um, so, uh, right now we're. Um, Developing a new version of the Toilet, a cardboard version, which is called the Toilet One, and it's a uh, it's cheaper than our original version because of uh, different materials, so it's less costly to make. And we're looking to launch that version of the Toilet internationally. And together with that launch of that version, we're going to launch the app as well. So it's going to be simultaneously, and I expect it to be around November, something like that, November, uh, December, somewhere around that time period, yeah. Great, and so the the listeners, if they wanted to get a TOLAD, they could choose the um, taller staff or the uh, shorter staff at that time? Um, yeah, so for internationally, um, so for in the U.S., we're only looking to um, distribute the shorter stuff, the cardboard version, the uh, yeah, the less costly one. So, if you want to have like a, the, the taller, the al- aluminum uh, version, you have to order one from Holland, and uh, well, that's not really practical. So, so right now it's only the cardboard version that we're looking to distribute internationally. And so you're actually in the process of launching the cardboard, and the, and so you're actually in the process of launching the Tolad One and you have a Kickstarter, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So can you tell the listeners a little bit about what you're looking for there? Yeah, so we launched a a Kickstarter campaign for a few reasons, actually. And, well, the main reason is because we wanted to raise some some money to uh, order the injection molds that we need to produce the Toilet One on a larger scale. So we can distribute it internationally. So we want to make it available to everyone around the world. Uh, and of course, the reason, the second reason is that people can pre-order one. So we want to give people the opportunity to pre-order a Toilet. And um, well, we also did the Kickstarter thing because not a lot of um, funeral companies or funeral products have done a Kickstarter campaign. And I don't know, we thought it was kind of a cool idea to just do a Kickstarter campaign for our product and just see uh, see what the reaction would be because well, it's kind of, for the funeral business, it's it's unusual, but also for the Kickstarter business, it's an unusual product. So we were really curious to the reactions and, uh, and yeah, what it would do. And uh, well, it's been a really fun experience so far. There are two weeks left and we're at around 50%. And... Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's doing pretty pretty well, but I have to say that a lot of people are not used to the Kickstarter platform, and uh, they'd rather order it manually by email to me. So, well, that's possible as well. So, but that's what that's what we're seeing. <laughs> yeah. Listeners, if you see value in the Tolad and this memorial, and just the what Wout and his team are doing. I encourage you to go over to Kickstarter and search Tolad. That's T O L A D. And just uh, pledge, you know, $10 or if you might like to use this for a loved one or for yourself. You can pledge the 60 euros and a Tolad 1 will be available to you as soon as it's available. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. So um, yeah, every bit helps. And uh, well, if you pledge to the campaign, you will be one of the first to, to have one. So 
it's like an early bird uh, project. Wow, I can't thank you enough for being on the show. It's um, it's the product is just awesome, and I know you're going to be um, coming back out to the U.S. to showing it, uh, showing it at the National Funeral Directors Association, and that event is happening in Boston in October, and um, we were actually introduced um, from Joseph Ladin of of Abel Caskets, who also has a remarkable product, a really uniquely designed casket. And I think it's just, uh, it's nice that we were able to connect. Yeah. Yeah. So the fun thing is, um, maybe for the listeners that, um, in the, at the convention in Boston, we'll have a, uh, I'll join Joseph together with a booth. That's going to be like an innovation, innovative booth for, well, on the one hand, we have his caskets, and on the other hand, we have my uh, scattering product. So there will be kind of an international innovation booth there in Boston, so there will be a lot of fun. And if the listener wanted to get in touch with you or your company, where should they go? Yeah, so um, I understand that uh, our product, well, I always say you need to see it. So I can recommend everybody to go to our website, which is, uh, www.toled.net and you can see um, we have a documentary on the home page and the documentary is actually I have uh, added some English subtitles so you can so everybody can understand and well everybody who's interested in the product I really suggest to watch that documentary because it really shows what what we're about it's a documentary about someone who scattered his uh, mother's ashes and well, it really shows what, what the product is about. So I would recommend everybody to, to look at that uh, documentary and visit our website at uh, tolad.net. And if you want to get in touch with me, you can email me at uh, wout at tolad.net. And if you just spell your first name, I think... <laughs> yeah, it's kind of unusual for... Uh, it's, it's a really Dutch name. It's uh, W-O-U-T, so wout, and then at tolad.net. Wow, thanks so much for being on the show. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Listeners, I want to again express gratitude for you joining me on Always Memorial Radio. And there's so many places to get useful information about end-of-life ceremonies. And that includes your local funeral service provider. And I'd just like to express my thanks until next time <laughs>